Happy Holidays, Merry Christmas. Happy Holidays, Merry Christmas. Terrific mistletoe, the fake snow, the mounds of expensive gifts. Hey! This time of year is about giving, not receiving, Clover. Oh, I'm all about giving, Sammy. Giving my Christmas list to my father. <laughs> <gasps> oh, what is it? A new flavor of fat free foyo? No, it's Eve Mont Blanc. The most fabulous footwear on the planet. Delete that e pick loser. My mom's buying me the last pair of a YMB boots. <sighs> Over my unmanicured French tips. They're mine! mine. <laughs> uh, Clover, you're gonna risk breaking a nail over a pair of boots? I'll pay twice the price. Quadruple! I'll, I'll, I'll double anything she offers. Mother! I already did, honey. I just bought the entire nationwide chain of this store. And all the YMB boots with it. You did? No way! I did. Yes way. You are so getting my vote for Mother of the Year, peeps! Merry, Merry Christmas! Christmas. <sighs> Sorry it didn't work out, Clover. Oh, I'm getting those boots if I have to force Yves Mont Blanc himself to make me a pair on Christmas Day. That's the Christmas spirit. Uh... Speaking of Christmas, you're cordially invited to attend Whoop's Holiday Bash tonight. Thanks, but no thanks, Jer. We still got major last-minute shoppage to do. Sorry, girls, but the gathering is mandatory. In fact, I need you here right away for a little pre-party mission. On Christmas Eve? But, Jerry... I'm not even dressed for a party. <laughs> Now we know what poor Santa has to go through! Ah! <laughs> Jerry, what mission could possibly take precedence over last-minute Christmas shopping? Preparing my office for tonight's festivities. Ah, that's it. I am returning your gift just as soon as I buy you one. I don't mind. After all, this time of year is about giving, not receiving. And speaking of giving, Gladys, give the girls their supplies. Pill off, Dr. Broom, ammonia. Jerry, I don't have time for this. I have extremely expensive boots to find. But well, don't be silly, Clover. Your boots will only get ruined with all the cleaning you're about to do. <laughs> I don't know what's worse, this lame party or these lame outfits. Tell me about it. Like, didn't anyone tell Jerry that fuchsia is this year's red? And hello, didn't anyone tell him a party's supposed to be fun? And so, Crawford, a former whoop agent turned evil elf, hired a sleigh of reindeer. <laughs> or so he thought. Ugh, this is a nightmare. I'm gonna be stuck at this party for the rest of my life. I'm never gonna find these boots. <laughs> Is there something I can help you with, Clover? <gasps> can you find a pair of Yves Mont Blanc boots for me? Affirmative. Ah! Yves Mont Blanc available at... Uh, oopsie. <gasps> oh my, well, that can't be good. <gasps> Understatement of the year? She was just about to reveal only the most important information ever. Gee. <laughs> 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 Suddenly, I don't feel so silly in this outfit. Alex, please mop up the spilled punch. Negative, Jerry. You are no longer in charge. I am indeed in charge. Oh! Okay, that's right out of a horror movie. Uh, 
You cannot override the security system, Jerry. Only I control it. <gasps> She's right. I'd better contact Agent Mathers. He's skiing in Aspen. Uh, hey, I thought this boar fest was mandatory. Now is not the time to nitpick. Oh my. Gladys is blocking my outgoing message. I have no choice but to disconnect her. <gasps> Whoa! Oh, oh, oh. <sighs> Never rethink your plan, Jerry. Sam, laser launcher, top draw. Take her down the old-fashioned way. Uh, uh, where's your hard drive, Jer? No one can stop me. Everyone to the panic room. Now. Not without you, Jerry. <laughs> Who knew Gladys would be the life of the party? Well, I wish she'd stop. Something tells me she's just getting started. Jerry, why are you running, Jerry? Creepy, she can see us. There is no escape. I think she's taking this life of the party thing a little too seriously. Oh, ah! oh. I must admit, the extent of her malfunction is fascinating. Gone are the days when she just controlled my office. Now she controls the entire building. Can we admire your wacko machine later? Like when we're safe? Hmm. This closet is lined with titanium. It should slow down her ability to find us. Okay, so you spilled punch on Gladys? Why is she suddenly so evil? I didn't get that crazy when you dropped jelly on my cashmere. She's probably sick of living in Jerry's shadow. You know, never getting any of the limelight. Hello, she's a computer. She doesn't care about things like that. I'm afraid it's my fault that Gladys is evil. I downloaded her brain from the brain, the world's most brilliant villain. <gasps> she has a villain's brain? A villain who set out to destroy the world by misleading nations into launching missiles at one another. I thought I deleted all the evil synapses. Well, he must have a weakness. Everyone does. Shopping. <laughs> All we have to do is find out what it is, and that's our key to stopping Gladys. Luckily, he happens to be in the building's holding facility. I say it's time we visit the brain. Uh, is everyone forgetting we're hiding in a titanium closet because a freako robot just tried to annihilate us? Not at all, which is why there's no time like the present for a little present. <gasps> oh, me first, me first. Oh. Uh, hmm. Uh, <laughs> Okay, you realize we're not eight. It's the Bubble Blaster Invisibility Shield. We simply ensconce ourselves and move as quietly as possible. Titanium. Oh, oh. 
If that wasn't your stomach tear, I think we better step on it. Gladys will never think to look for us inside the brain cell. How delightful. I haven't had so many visitors since last Christmas. Unfortunately, I haven't had a chance to get gifts for anyone. Gee, you seem nice. What's up with the whole starting a world war thing? I only wanted everyone to disarm in an effort for world peace. No one complied. So, a world war was the second choice? Ironical much? Yes, but you see, I have this condition. I'm a little crazy. You must be. You didn't even touch your holiday meal. Oh, it's covered in cranberry sauce to which I'm dreadfully allergic. It makes me even crazier than usual. <gasps> cranberry! That's the kind of juice I spilled on Gladys! She must have the same allergy. I bet it triggered the evil part of her brain. That means two rootless files have just been launched. Checkmate, Cherry. Wherever you are. Just like the brain! How are we gonna stop her? You can't. But I can. You see, we share the same network of neurons that form the brain's information processing circuits. Hello! High school students here! He's saying he's the only one who can outsmart her since he already knows what she's thinking. If you reduce my sentence by a mere 500 years, I'll help you delete the evil from Gladys's brain. Well... Although this is not woo policy, I suppose we- Not so fast, Jer! Hey, you prison guys can smuggle in anything you want, right? Throw in a pair of YMB boots and you've got a deal! <gasps> Agreed, Brain. We have no choice but to trust you. The first thing I need is a jet. the jet to intercept the missiles, then disable them before they reach their target. I have a better idea. The criminal stays put, and Clover and I take the jet. How will you disable the missiles? With your third gift, the remote virus Palm Coder Decoder. It intercepts computer programs remotely. It's not powerful enough to overtake Gladys, but it should suffice for the missiles. Brilliant. First things first, I'll disable the transmitter on one of the jets so Gladys doesn't control it. Hmm. Clover Sam, you cannot outwit me. Oh. Okay, so how do we fix Gladys? Simple. The logarithm of acid to base is imbalanced from its imperfect state of four, which is a uh. common cerebral reaction to an allergen. Now you're just being difficult. Gladys became evil when she was exposed to too much acid, the cranberry juice. All we have to do is pump a base into a mainframe to counter the allergy. Genius. Only where will we get a base? You mean, like ammonia? The one I was cleaning. We ran out at home, so I was going to borrow this. I was going to pay you back. <gasps> Bingo! Missile one disarmed. That wasn't very nice, Sam. Nice or not, missile number two, here we come. <laughs> That's such a good idea. Uh. 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 Gladys' jet 
rats are trying to lock in on us. It's only a matter of time, girls. Gladys's mainframe. Beautiful. Pristine. Can we have this love fest later? This won't hurt a bit. What are you doing, Brain? Do not betray me. We are one. Where are you, Brain? Brain, where are you? Brain! I actually feel sorry for her. Where are you, Brain? Brain, where are you? Jerry? The Brain's plan is working! All my plans work. Well, except the last one. The one that got you here. They're locked in on us! Everything's over. Let's head back to Whoop. Security, miss. I have to commandeer your boots for official business. Your country thanks you. <laughs> I must say, I'm impressed with your. Oh. A gift my dear mom smuggled in in a 20 pound fruitcake. But we had an agreement. I'm a criminal. I'm not to be trusted. Besides, how else was I going to escape? Okay, now that you've escaped, I think you should turn yourself in. Nice try, but I have a better plan. It's just like my old plan, only more evil. I'm going to launch all of Whoop's missiles at once. Forget tricking countries into going to war, I'll do it myself! <laughs> oh, if only he used his evil for good. Here. What is Gladys freaking out again? Pure genius is behind this attack. What have you done with Jerry and Alex? They're a little tied up at the moment. I don't think I can keep up this pace. I said left. Uh, I am going left. Uh, oh. Allow me to assist you, Jerry. Keep up the good work, girls. Jerry, <gasps> Alex, you're okay. Like a day at the spa, without any of the perks. Continue to decode the missiles as best you can. We'll try to devise a plan. After the frequent flyer miles from this mission, we're going to Fiji for a well-deserved vacation. Provided there's still a Fiji. Not another one. Step huh? away, you maniac brainiac. How precious. You believe you can bully me, but you've overlooked one variable. I have this condition. I'm crazy. And when I'm crazy, I'm a fighting machine! Feisty little guy, aren't you? <laughs> Not again! Yes, again. Using Gladys, we'll download your brain power. This time, making sure she isn't turned evil in the process. Download complete. Hard drive enhanced 300%. No evil virus detected. <sighs> the missiles! How do we stop them? I have a solution, Jerry. Permission to reprogram the launched missile so that they hit each other at once? No! That was my idea! She stole it from my brain! No fair! You got 
get your most wanted Christmas gift. Totally. Merry Christmas, girl. <laughs> wow! <gasps> oh, these are from my dad overseas! I knew he wouldn't let me down. What is that? Maybe one of Santa's reindeer has a hernia from carrying all of Clover's gifts. <laughs> Mandy? <laughs> Thy mom sold the asses and sled! He wanted the last pair of eight mock mock boots! <laughs> well, I'll show her! I'm gonna stay out here and freeze to death! Um, it's 87 degrees out here? <laughs> here. Merry Christmas. <laughs> For me? Really? You're like the nicest person I've ever hated. Well, Clover, nice deed. So not like you. I'm proud of you. Finally seeing the spirit of the holiday. Holiday spirit? Hello. Yves Mont Blanc is so last year. Look <laughs> at these new Giorgio Vivaldi's. Hot off the European runway. Now this is the best Christmas present yet. <laughs> you know, I think Christmas is about more than just gifts. It's really about the spirit of human kindness, about treating others with respect and courtesy. That's why I love it so much. I mean, what other time of year can you get pleases and thank yous even from the baddies you're fighting? It really does bring out the best in people. Leg warmers? Hello, is this a gift or is someone just cleaning out their closet? <sighs> and then there's Clover. 